When I was a kid, I used to go to local independent wrestling shows through a company called ECCW in the Vancouver area of Canada. And my favorite wrestler when I was a kid was a wrestler named Torch. And Torch used to wear a mask. He had a red mask with a black face covering. And then there were little yellow flames around the edge of the black face covering. And it was kind of a unique mask. It wasn't like your traditional Lucha Libre mask. And it was the first one I'd kind of seen like that. And so for an art project at school, we were asked to make paper mache masks. And of course, I made one of my favorite wrestler, Torch. A few months later, the company had a fans bring your own weapons battle royal. And so I thought I should bring my mask to show Torch. And when Torch came to the ring, I showed him my mask. He grabbed that mask and he proceeded to hit everybody in the battle royal with that mask. And then he threw it out in the crowd and I would never got my torch mask back again. Oh, uh, I really like this story because it isn't some giant famous wrestler that we all know. It's the local Vancouver, British Columbia wrestler known as the torch. Of course, me being the independent warrior that I've always been, I have wrestled at ECCW, of course. But for the most part, nobody here knows who Torch is. But this is this kid who loves going to the local independent wrestling show. And he loves Torch. I, and I just love making the visual in my head, the excitement of this kid to show the mask, only for it to be just whipped out of his hand, damaged uncontrollably during a match, and then just thrown away for you to never have again. Hindsight, you happen to show it to him during the fans bring the weapons match where the wrestler will grab anything from the crowd and use it. But I'll give you a pass. You were a little kid. You didn't know any better. And to this day, I understand that you're a little sad, but maybe we can get in touch with Torch and you can make him another paper mache mask and we will present it to him on the Patreon. <laughs> That was a little plug for my Patreon, but also a little plug for special stuff we could do on this show. It's possible to do this. It's possible to reunite little paper mache art makers with thriving weekend warrior wrestlers. We love you, Torch. Well, at least, at least this guy does. But I was calm, cool, and collected, but on the inside, I was like a 12-year-old girl meeting in sync on TRL. Hey, thanks for watching. That call was part of a whole podcast called Wrestling Anonymous. Listen to the whole thing weekly wherever you listen to your podcast. Go subscribe. And while you're at it, subscribe right here on YouTube to Colt Cabana's channel. Thank you.